I like the sports with the 146 to like 138. What about you? I'm Adam Shalafu, and this is Javier <laughs> Barrera. Yes, it and, is. And uh, in case you haven't heard, the big news tonight is the Celtics are, of course, advancing to the finals. No, Cleveland and Golden State are going to play again. Uh, so, what are your initial thoughts Ooh. as those Warriors gear up? I hope that this. Well, you think they can, there's like the series can potentially save this year's playoffs? Oh, I mean, I, I've enjoyed the. I playoffs. hope that's the, the way case. I've seen it. Is these are two. Titans it, bashing their way through their conferences for an inevitable round three of this basketball nuclear warfare. Both teams loading up on weapons more and more each year. And now it's Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors against LeBron, who's added a plethora of pieces in Corver and Darren Williams. And so I think this is going to be the best one yet. And the way I see it is... It was inevitable. Of course they're going to, you know, roll through the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That was outside. Did you break a sweat in the first, and through, in, on their way to the finals? Um, short answer is that I think it's going to be a great series, but I doubt that it's going to provide the, the drama, that super tension that last year's finals did. You, can't, you had it down to the championship was decided in the last two minutes of Game 7. After right. a, a, sec, a team came back from a three-one hole, I don't think it's going to be to that, that to that to that magnitude. Right. I think it's going to be a great series. Obviously, these are the best two teams. Um, uh, a seventy-three win Warriors go out there and get Kevin Durant, and now I, I wonder how it's going to play out as far as because we know LeBron's the man on the t on the Cavs. When it comes down to crunch time, he's getting the ball, and I just, I'm wondering how that's going to work out over. On Golden State side, like who gets does Kevin Durant get it? Does this was Kevin Durant get right. his last shot or Steph? Curry? And it's going to be interesting. I think if K Steve Kerr's not on the sidelines, I think that makes it a much closer series. I think that the way Golden State can defend as well as score gives them an edge over Cleveland. But I give a lot of credit there to Steve Kerr, and so I think that could potentially play a role. Uh, LeBron and the Cavs, of course. Scoring it an unreal clip in the playoffs, though. Um, but back to your original question, I think that if Golden State does what they do best, which is move the basketball, mm -hmm. they should be in good shape. Mm -hmm. And I know there's some concern about Klay Thompson right now being a little bit of a slump, but as long as the ball's moving around, he's going to hit his shots. They really have two of the best, if not the two best, three-point shooters of all time on one team. Versus a team that keeps breaking the record for most three pointers made in a game twice against the Houston Rock or against the Atlanta Hawks rather, mm. um, so I think oh. it's going to be just a shootout from downtown, and that's going to be fun basketball. Mm. This represents a new era of the NBA. I like that point you made where um, about the ball movement. That, so that's going to that's going to dictate who gets the last shot or how, how the play develops. Is going to dictate who gets that last shot. Right. And the, the point that you made about Steve Kerr is that. He's on the sidelines. Mike Brown can sit on the sidelines and basically the Golden State Warriors machine runs itself. Mm -hmm. But if it does come down to those key moments where we, okay, we need a play to be drawn up or we need, right. I need to tell, I mean, this is how it needs to happen. I feel like I'd rather have, you know, you'd rather have your head coach Steve Kerr for those moments and also because of the lack, just like the disparity between, I feel like them, them and them two as far as like, those minute things that Brad Stevens is so good at. Yeah. That drawing up that let that play. Absolutely. How ironic is it that Mike Brown coaching against LeBron James and the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers? It's a funny uh, side story. Um, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you pretty much got him fired twice, it seems. Mm -hmm. I don't think... Mike Brown necessarily might be thinking about it that way, but I also he knows about it. I he, mean, knows, he knows. He knows. I he knows. Like the, the, like, he wouldn't hate it if he won. And it's not. He's winning yeah. the championship. Boy, the Warriors. Right now, I think it, he just happens. All the pants in the house. Mm. You know, in the relationship <laughs> between him and Mike Brown. I mean, he was his his lap dog, and mm. you know the fact that they had the best record in the NBA. A couple years in a row. Ironically, that's what the Celtics just did this year. But, but not. There's a difference between being the best record in the NBA 
and being the best team in your conference. I, I agree, but also I feel like also every coach has kind of gotten yeah. that kind of treatment from LeBron. Like so, a certain degree, like um, you know, he look at you look at him bumping Spolstra or like getting David Blatt fired. Eventually, I think it was Mike Brown's inability to produce an offense around LeBron is what got him fired. And that's why LeBron leaves. Like, okay, okay, I, I need to go play with Dwayne Wade and, and Chris Bosh. So, Cavs and Warriors. What are you thinking? Uh, I think that the Warriors probably win this one. What do you got? What's your series? Uh, like? How does it go down? I think it's going to seven. You think so? <coughs> uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, They're two juggernauts. I think LeBron James, and I hate that I keep saying just LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Kyrie, he's Kevin got Love. so many they other guys, but he the is. Cavaliers. You got the best player in the world and a bunch of other. It's seriously the most stacked. Finals just think about the talent. Who's wa who's walking the floor? I mean, like during the you, finals. this is literally Again. an all star game. This is literally like these. Players could be the all-star team, like Kevin Durant, Team USA, uh, Clay Thompson, Steph, Steph Curry, Curry team, USA. team USA, yeah, LeBron uh, James, Team USA, yeah, Kyrie, Team USA, Draymond Green, Team USA. I mean, this is pretty much the Olympics. Uh, Kevin Love, Team USA. Yeah, Can I say that. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it's an all-star team <laughs> walking the court. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a cool thing that both teams are so stacked, and a lot of people are very uh, critical of that, mm -hmm. critical of the signings of the Warriors and stuff. I like that Kevin Durant went there. I mean, and I like that Darren Williams went to the Cavs, and I like that Kyle Korver went there. It's not like the Cavs are any less stacked than mm -hmm. the Warriors. So I think, yeah, it's going to go to seven. But at the end of the day, I think... Uh, the better defense and the the both teams can score unbelievably, um, but I think that the Warriors can still score just a little bit better. I'm hoping for some dramatics or whatever. If, if the series is, isn't close, I mean, get some close finishes. Um, I could see Golden. I could I could I can see something weird happening. Like I don't know, not weird, but like. Where like a pivotal point in the series, there'll be pivotal points in the games in the series where like I don't know, Golden State might be up three one, or it's three two, heading back to Cleveland, I believe. Yeah, for game game six. Yeah, so it's three two, and like the Warriors have to close it out on the road. So it's some. I'm hoping those, those games are what I'm looking for. Some dramatics. I'm sure yeah. there will be. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. And I'm just wondering how I'm gonna get it. Hopefully, I get like the like what I got last year. That's what I'm. Yeah. Like. It's, I it's don't think they're going to stack up, but it's this is what we get. This is what was going to happen. It just took us the entire season and all the playoffs to get here. Who do you think would win uh, Finals MVP then? And or who do you have? Who do you have? Oh, uh, I have the. My initial answer was four one. But I'll give him I'll give four two. I'm going with four two Golden State. Okay. Just like I think I don't know those weird plays. The ball's gonna the ball's gonna bounce a certain way or I don't know. I think I think I think Golden State gets catches those breaks, and and they're more talented than the collective talent of Golden State. I think is more talented than the Golden State Warriors as far as what they do, and when and how the ball movement works. And like cause in, on Cleveland side, LeBron's getting the ball. And everyone knows it. At least with Golden State, you have it. They might just run you off the court. Who's more likely to run who off the court? Golden State, Cleveland, okay. or Cleveland, Golden State? Because both teams can just come out so hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I think most nights, both teams are going to come out unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And I think this is, is going to be some of the best basketball of all time. I mean... These are Third two straight year. really good systems with the best talent in the world. And they all both play really good team basketball. Um, it's not like you have a bunch of selfish stuff. The excitement, too, whenever, like, 
and Matt, just think about when they're passing, like when you're watching the game and they're passing, oh, now Clyce Thompson has the ball, now Steph Curry has the ball, yeah. like, and all that. Yeah. Like, every time you can't turn away because something might happen. <laughs> right. And, and then on the flip side, it's like Kyrie Irving, and then J.R. Smith, and Darren Williams, and Kyle Korver, and LeBron James. Like, there's not a player, I mean, I haven't even mentioned Kevin Love, there's not a player where you're not, he isn't dangerous. Mm-hmm. And on, I think that, honestly, is why the Cavs are really competitive in this. If you look at the Warriors, I think that Kevin Durant... Um, and Clay Thompson give them a serious, and Draymond Green give them a serious edge, um, in terms of, I guess versatility. Uh, I don't think that the Cavs can match up well with Clay. Uh, that said, he's in a bit of a slump, but J.R. Smith guards uh, really good players really well. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting. But the bench is a little bit thinner. Uh, I don't. I'm not crazy about Ian Clark. Uh, I don't know if he's a guy who's going to make that big shot ever in the finals. Um, JaVale McGee is good, but I think the... Well, that's going to be interesting, McGee, actually. It's going to be interesting seeing him against Thompson. I think that you're making great points as far as, like, just the matchups. What you're going to see or who's going to be going through at what times... I'm interested to see like little 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 nuances like how they're gonna attack the Warriors. Have uh, uh, Kyrie Irving run a run a, a set of a screen a pick and roll screen with LeBron James and now now Steph Curry switched on to LeBron, much like what right. they did last year. Yeah, like little things like that. Like, like I know and that um, didn't work for them so much last year. I I, I think I, that gave uh, the Cavs a little bit of a psychological edge when LeBron was and injured. Steph Curry was yeah. getting banged up by yeah. bullied. Yeah. By and I think that was a turning point. You mm-hmm. know, it was this dramatic, oh yeah, I'm gonna guard you, I'm you know, the best player on this team and it's dramatic. Mm-hmm. But that's a horrible Steph Curry should never be on LeBron James. Should we uh do some sort of close out here? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, he's a very sport.